All right, so a couple of people ask about my optic setup on the uh, Rattler. I've talked about it before, but it's a, a Race 4K Mini, uh, four power. I've got the two power also, um, but I don't use that on the on the Rattler. But um, I took I took the uh, everything off of it. Yeah. <laughs> so look what I did now, and I've done this before, but. <laughs> uh it's it's a pretty sweet setup if you were going to try to use one of these for for home defense um that would be the way i would want to do it um because that's a, a lot like like this thing is heavy enough anyway you put two and a half pounds of optics and stuff on there uh and it's real heavy um but uh still you know it's long by the way the people making current videos with Terminators saying that they're the most powerful semi-automatic air gun in the world, uh, y'all are late to the party. These blow Terminators out of the water, uh, like considerably blow Terminators out of the water. But, uh, yeah, like they were once, but mm -mm. if you're making a video in the last three months saying that, you, you late to class, son. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I've got... A variety of different ammo right uh one thing i will say for the wraith 4k mini and any of the wraiths actually even the the older ones i believe all do it i know that the the uh the last older one i did i don't know how far back they go but i had the you know older version that did it but anyway what they do is you can set profiles in them for one thing they have a one shot zero so you just you shoot at the target and then wherever the hole hits then you keep your crosshairs on the bullseye and then you move a cursor up to where it hit and click and it it zeroes it with one shot so that's really cool and then the other thing that's really cool is you set up these different profiles so it's made to set up where you can change between different weapons but um it, with one of these i mean you look i'm shooting anything from that to freaking that so there's that's a ma i mean you're talking at 100 yards there's a massive difference at the point of impact between those two um so uh you can set your profiles up for different weight bullets or projectiles instead uh which is pretty sweet so anyway i want to test those but they're a little small for, I, I've found, I was thinking most of them would fit, but actually going through more of them, it's more like most of them don't. They're just too, too small. They like fall, they fall out the front of the mags of the Leshy and the Sidewinder. Um, you can find enough to fill a mag, but I'm going to be definitely left over with, I don't know. I don't know the percentage. I'm not a statistician, <laughs> but uh, now I'm going to give you all a spoiler alert, right? This is the best ammo for the doggone rattler that the high arcs that that's insanity right there that gives that the most power that i've got period then the second best would be the ones that are named after it the rattlers um so that's where i'm at with that as far as actual muzzle energy this is the best that's right under it five foot pounds and i don't know however many joules difference between those two but anyway all right yeah good times so that yep and i might even do it on a i might even put a put the uh put the magnified uh you know one to six on it which i probably will um and put one of those on a 45 or something which technically with the one to six you shouldn't need to put something on a 45 you should just be able to leave it on one because it's a low power variable, right? Right? So, if you set it up right, you should be able to use it much like a red dot. Yeah. Y'all thrilled? Y'all excited? Yeah. Do, do, do. Alright, so those were extremely high and a little bit to the right. And they have went 
too too far down. All right, so I walked, I walked close enough to see those are bullseyes, so. Well, one is it, one's a bullseye and one's just beside it. That was luck. <laughs> I mean, luck that I had it inside of that creek. Especially just standing here holding this big hawk and thing off-handed like that. So hopefully, <laughs> I guess so. Let's see if I can knock that one off. All right, good freaking times. And by the way, this is DK Spencer. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. All right, bye.